Hey guys, so I decided to build a new system. I currently have an AMD based gaming rig, so this time I wanted to go with Intel. The processor that I was particularly interested in is Core i7-4770K. It's been out on the market for a while and it's gotten pretty good reviews, but not everyone thinks it's worth the money. And a lot of you guys might still be on the fence whether or not to build or upgrade your system based on this particular chip. So I wanted to go over some specifications, cons and pros, and possibly clarify for you whether or not to go with this processor. Forty seven seventy K is a quad core processor based on a new fourth generation core architecture named Haswell. It runs at a base operating frequency of three point five gigahertz with turbo boost allowing it to go all the way up to three point nine. When you look at Intel's TikTok model, TOC is the introduction of new microarchitecture, and TIC corresponds with advancement in manufacturing process known as shrinking. So Haswell is the new microarchitecture, TOC. That's why you need a new socket for it. So 4770K needs a motherboard that has socket LGA1150. And this is an important point guys, because for most of you that means you need to get a new motherboard that has chipset Z87. Z87 is a relatively new chipset, and it comes with many awesome features like up to 6 USB 3.0 ports and up to 6 SATA ports that have 6 gigabytes per second transfer rates. So in general, 4770K and chipset Z87 is a pretty good combination for a new Intel build. However, if you're thinking of upgrading your system, you really have to decide if getting a whole new processor, a whole new motherboard, and possibly a whole new power supply is really worth it, especially if you're on a budget. In some cases, upgrading to a newer processor that goes along with your existing motherboard might be a better option. For example, if you're somebody who has a system based on chipset X79 with socket LGA2011, a newer Intel 4820K processor might be a better idea for you. It will offer comparable performance and you don't have to get a new motherboard. Now the question is, is it good for gaming? Well, that depends. For entry-level gaming, you might benefit from the significantly improved, that's about 25%, integrated GPU Intel HD Graphics 4600. But if you're really into gaming, please get yourself a real graphics card. This CPU comes with four cores and hyper-threading, which means eight logical cores is what you get. Unfortunately, at this time, not many games utilize hyper-threading, so you might not get a significant boost when running your game. So if you're on a budget and you can get a cheaper processor with no hyper-threading, you will not lose much in terms of performance on your game. However, PC gaming is on a rise, and some pretty resource-intensive games are expected to come out. So from that perspective, you should be pretty well off for the games coming out in the future. Besides, if you like me and tend to obsess over those few extra PS, you will really appreciate the power that comes with this. Core i7-4770K comes ready for overclocking, hence the letter K, which means that it's unlocked. It's a really nice feature for those who want to get more out of their hardware. Some people have been able to get stable results as high as 4.6 GHz. Keep in mind though that you want to have a pretty good cooling system since this chip has been known to have some thermal issues, possibly due to the fact that the voltage regulator is now on the chip. Also, the stability of your results will depend on the kind of chip that you get. So overall guys, when you look at Intel i7-4770K, it's a rather powerful processor and it should be able to handle anything you throw at it with a kick. I do a lot of video editing and for that, I pretty much need all the power I can get. And that's where I really notice that difference that hyperthreading makes. So in general, when you do heavily threaded applications, that's where you really will benefit from what 4770K has to offer. So there you have it guys. If you want to build a new powerful system that will be able to handle nicely some multitasking, heavily threaded applications, do some overclocking, and be ready for future games, you might want to check out Intel's 4770K. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Until next time, ciao ciao.